Hey guys, take a look at this city. Do you know which city this is? I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay, right now I'm standing on a mountain called Mount Royal. Can you guess which city this is here? Leave your guess down there in the comments. I'm taking you on a trip across Canada. We're gonna see the West Coast, the Rocky Mountains, the prairies, the Canadian Shield, and the Great Lakes. We're gonna go all the way over to the East Coast, and I want you to sit right here as we go on an adventure across Canada. Welcome to Montreal. I'm just climbing up Mount Royal here. Mount Royal is a is the mountain right sort of in the middle of Montreal and uh, the word Montreal in English is Mount Royal okay so so this this place is called Mount Royal but also the city is Mount Royal or Montreal or Montreal I think that's how they say it in French <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend I speak French but uh, I think they say Montreal so anyway yeah, we're just climbing up here to the top of the mountain. It's a nice day, but it's a bit, uh, yeah, it looks like a storm is, is coming through. But uh, yeah, it's pretty warm anyway. I'm, I'm sweating a little bit, not too much, but uh, just a bit. Wow, look at this beautiful view, guys. Downtown Montreal. Wow, this is a really cool mountain here, sort of in the middle of the city. It's pretty high up. Look, we're about as... We're about as high as those big buildings downtown. Uh, it took me about half an hour to hike up here, maybe a bit more. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a warm day today. It's uh, it's 32 degrees. Actually, there's a rain cloud. I think it's cooled down a little bit right now, but yeah, it's uh, it's 32 degrees, and it's really humid here in Montreal. So much more humid than than back in, uh, in Calgary. Calgary, Alberta is really dry, but uh, yeah, it's really, really humid here. So that's, it makes you sweat more, right? If it's hot and humid. So I really like this, this weather. It's really nice, but it's, it's pretty hot. Check out these flowers. Aren't these nice? Wow. Bright orange flowers and some green plants. I don't know what kind of plants those are. Um, and there are some blue, I saw some blue flowers, I think, over there. Oh, purple. Yeah, I can see some purple flowers over there, too. Look at this, just nice plants. I, I don't know if we have plants like this in Calgary. It's really nice. Maybe these plants only grow in humid, in humid atmospheres, like here in Montreal. Yeah, and it's, it's so humid here. You can feel that sort of hot. Um, the word we use is muggy. A good word for this is, is muggy weather, you know, the sort of... Um, where where you're sweating and it's like the, the air feels sort of thick it's like warm and thick a good a good word to describe that is muggy okay so the the air here in in eastern canada is muggy because there's so much water right the great lakes the saint lawrence river i'm going to talk more about the saint lawrence uh, i'm going to show you some of the saint lawrence seaway the saint lawrence river so yeah here you can see the nice purple flowers here see this storm coming in big storm cloud up here I think it's gonna start raining soon hey take a look at this a piano right here on the top of Mount Royal isn't that awesome maybe I should maybe I should play you guys a tune okay oh look it's stuck maybe I can play it here just stopped off on the side of the highway to stretch my legs and take a look at the map all right so we left Ottawa this morning and we stopped off in Montreal now I decided not to stay in Montreal uh, because I'm sort of running out of time on my trip I want to I want to get over here and spend a little bit more time here on the East Coast so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going and uh, today we're going through to through Montreal up to uh, to Quebec City okay so I'm gonna put a sticker on the map here for Quebec City right there 
Hey, I thought we were already in Quebec. Well, the capital city, the capital of Quebec, is also called Quebec. Okay, so if people ask me, uh, hey Mark, where are you from? I say, I'm from Calgary, Alberta. Okay, but if you're from this place, and someone asks you where you're from, you could say, I'm from Quebec, Quebec. Isn't that crazy? Two Quebecs. Anyway, yeah, that's so that's the capital. You know, Montreal is not the capital. A lot of people think Montreal is the capital because it's bigger than Quebec City, right? But very often in Canada, the biggest city isn't the capital of the province, right? Like in Alberta, where I'm from, right? I'm from Calgary, but that's not the capital. The capital is Edmonton. Look right over there. Okay, Calgary is bigger. I mean, Edmont Edmonton is still a big city, uh, but, but Calgary is bigger, right? Another example is over here in BC. A lot of people think Vancouver is the capital of BC, but it's not. Victoria is the capital of BC. Victoria is smaller than Vancouver. I think it's the same for Saskatchewan. I think Saskatoon is bigger than Regina. Mm, don't quote me on that. I, I think it is. I think it is. I'll put it up here if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, Ontario though, Ontario, the, Toronto is the, is the capital of Ontario. And Toronto is the biggest city in Ontario and in all of Canada. But you know, a lot of people think Toronto is the capital of Canada because it's such a big city. It's huge. But really, Ottawa is, right? We were in Ottawa there and so, yeah, so don't get that mixed up. The capital of Canada is Ottawa, not Toronto, even though Ottawa is in Ontario. Okay, so Ottawa is in Ontario, but it's not the capital of Ontario. Toronto is the capital city of the province of Ontario, and Ottawa is the capital of all of Canada. So yeah, I just stopped off here in the, sort of in the woods. I had to drive off the highway a little bit just to find a place where I could even stop. You know, I have to say, I'm not really enjoying driving in this area. Driving through this area is just really busy. The highways are just packed with cars. So many cars, right? So far on my trip all the way, you know, over here, the highways have been really empty. You know, if, you, if you're if you looking to come to Canada to do a road trip, you know, you should go, you know, over in this area because it's much more enjoyable, it's more relaxing. There are so many cars in this area and and there aren't really any places to just stop on the side of the road. You know, if you drive in any of this area, you're gonna see sort of nice spots where you can pull over, pull off the highway, and you know, take some pictures or, or you know, just use the bathroom or stop and have a bite to eat or something like that. But in this area, really, I haven't seen, I haven't seen any places to just to pull off, just a nice quiet place, just off the highway a little bit. So I actually had to drive take a road and drive off the highway a ways. Um, so that's why, I mean, even here, right? I'm on the side of the road and um, I don't think there are any places, like nice camping places with like a picnic table to stop and eat. I haven't seen any on this whole drive, right? From Ottawa, actually from this, this whole area, you know, from Toronto up here to, to Quebec City, it's just really, really busy. So I have to say, I'm not really enjoying this drive because there's just too many vehicles. Um, hey, you know one weird thing about the about the the highways here in Quebec is that there are minimum speed limits. That's the first time in in Canada I've ever seen a minimum speed limit. Okay, all the signs on the highways they say maximum 100, minimum 60. Okay, so I mean. I don't know, I don't know who's driving 60 along a highway, why they'd have to have that. You know, all the rest of Canada, there's no minimum speed limits. You could technically, you know, go like 50 or 60, you know, in all of this part of Canada, right? Um, but, but nobody does that, right? On a highway, everybody's going like 100. I guess sometimes you might see someone going really slow, but um, that's rare. You know, it's sort of a, it's, a, it's dangerous to drive slow. If everybody's going 100 and you're going like 50, you know, you're a hazard on the road. You're causing a problem 
for everyone else because they have to change lanes past you then keep going so yeah it's dangerous so I understood I like the idea of a minimum speed limit but 60 it should be 90 I would say you know like there's no reason anybody should be going less than 90 on on these roads I mean if people are going 60 on a highway like this that's gonna be dangerous that's all that's that's dangerous I mean if it's what's the difference of going like like 60 and 50 if a person's driving 60 on the highway they're not breaking the law right because the sign says 60 right so they're not gonna get a ticket for going 60 but they should I think that's a bit crazy I think it's sort of a waste of money to print all those signs I don't know how much it costs to make a speed limit sign but to make all those signs you know 60 should at least make it 90 I wonder how many tickets in all of Quebec's history since they've had that minimum speed I wonder how many tickets police officers have given people for going less than 60 I don't think very many you know on my drive so far everybody's going like 120 130 right so I think there would be a lot of speeding tickets given for the you know the maximum for exceeding the maximum but not for going below the minimum so I think that's just crazy if they're gonna have a minimum speed limit at least make it 90 um, you know even if I had a flat tire right let's say let's imagine I had a flat tire and I had to put on my donut right you know the smaller spare tire that's like in here it's small it's not a real tire right that's called a donut if I if I had a flat tire and I had to put on my donut and I had to drive on the highway I would still go 90 right you're supposed to drive a bit slower than you usually do if you're using a donut but I would go 90 no problem with the donut so I don't know like if you have car problems let's say you have a car problem you can just pull over to the side of the road right the shoulder like this this road here this is not the highway this is just a side road right uh, this road does not have a shoulder right sort of I guess I'm sort of parked on the the shoulder is the grass here right well this is a ditch this is called a ditch not a shoulder but you know let's say there was a small lane here that was paved that's called the shoulder right if you're biking usually bikers bike along the shoulder of the road you know if you have car problems you can just pull over onto the shoulder and you know maybe change a flat tire if your if your tire is flat or check your your engine if you have engine problems so I don't understand what these French people you know what, what their th process of thinking is to have a minimum speed limit of 60 anyway I just thought that was a bit strange but um, yeah what else can I tell you well hey you know this is the furthest east in Canada I've ever been all right I was in Montreal about 10 years ago and uh, yeah and I, I flew there right I flew there from Calgary so remember I told you when I when I was over here this is the furthest east in Canada I've ever driven right I've never driven uh, east of this so this is all new for me driving but I did fly uh, to Ottawa and Montreal about 10 years ago I just spent a few days in both those cities so now we're further east right we're up here so this is uh, this is completely new for me first time driving this far east and first time ever being this far east so I mean I guess today I almost drove all the way across Quebec look at that Wow we went from there to there almost in almost in New Brunswick wow we're making good time but you know I gotta hurry because this trip is uh, it's getting a bit expensive always staying in hotels and Airbnbs and stuff like that so so yeah hopefully uh, I can just sort of finish the trip in maybe a couple weeks and then drive all the way back to Calgary wow that's gonna be that's gonna be a long long way of driving anyway I just wanted to stop and uh, and take a look at the oh we should roll the dice that's our custom I don't think we rolled the dice for a few episodes what should I do today maybe if I roll it uh, into the ditch well I don't know might be some snakes in there I don't know what kind of animals there are here in in Quebec <laughs> what should I do well I'll throw it right into the middle of the road I'll try to land it on the 
the yellow line, okay? I'll try to land the dice, or the die, on the yellow line in the middle of the road. All right, here we go. Up and, oh, we almost got it. Look at that. <laughs> About four or five inches. Oh no, a car is coming. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, this is the first car. What was it? I didn't even look at the die. Was it, uh, Shoot, I forgot to look at it. I was too worried about getting off the road for that car. Was it subscribe? I think it I think it might have been subscribe. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to roll it again. Did you see it? I don't even know if I put the camera on it. Yeah, I did I did show it with the camera. Uh, in case I didn't, in case you can't see in the video, I'll roll it again. But um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty I don't know. Anyway. Here we go, so I'll try again, okay? I'll try to land it. I'll get a second try, right? In life, sometimes we get second tries when we make mistakes, so I'll just make sure there's no cars coming. Okay, here we go, ready? Oh, no, that wasn't, oh, that was terrible. Oh, that was terrible, wow. Okay, the first time was much better. If the first time was like or subscribe, we'll, we'll go with that one. Uh, we'll just scrap the second part. Maybe I'll just edit it out of my video. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be sneaky of me? Just cut it right out. Sometimes I do that, just take a chunk out of my videos because I say useless things or I'm talking too much or whatever. But anyway, I just wanted to, oh hey, look at the map. The map is getting a bit, a bit wrinkled. Look at that. Ah, oh, maybe that's about time. The mosquito, oh no, I got away. Get back here, you stupid mosquito. Yes, I got it. Look at that. Take that, you stupid blood-sucking... My, I was gonna say... <laughs> I was gonna call it a bad word. I should watch my, I should watch my mouth. And not say anything bad, right? Because uh, I need to teach you good English, not bad English. Um, anyway, so, I just wanted to stop and show you where we are. And now we're going to Quebec City. And then, uh, yeah, when we get there, I'm gonna gonna stop for a day or two and then uh, and then we're gonna look around that city and yeah and then uh, and then we'll keep going from there so let's hit the highway all right guys just got to my hotel here let's go in and check it out all right here we go well we are in Quebec City welcome to Quebec City oh, it's not a bad room let's turn on some lights and close the door here. All right, what do we have? We've got an iron there, some extra blankets, some hangers, one of these things, <laughs> luggage rack, an ironing board. Well, that's not too bad. And a uh, nice TV. And just a desk. Why am I saying the names of everything? You know what a desk is. You know, I always say like a lamp, a TV, a chair, a it's just sort of stupid. I should just be quiet and uh, and just show you the room. But maybe it's more interesting if I if I talk. Anyway, so let's see if I can open up these curtains. I can't even open the. Is it one big curtain? Wow, it's one big. It's one big curtain. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So that's outside my room you know i always like it when i can open the windows in my hotel room the last hotel i was at uh and this one you can't open the windows so i don't like that you know i like to be able to open the windows and get some fresh air but anyway look at this coffee table with what's this some sort of a coupon book nice maybe i can get some oh 20 percent off what's this 20 percent off maybe that black Skirt? Yeah, I could get a black leather skirt for 20% off. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, so bed. Nice bed, what's this? Some sort of a, I don't know what this is, a menu? Yeah, a menu, I guess. Um, okay, and let's check out the bathroom. All right, wow. I think this is the best bathroom I've had so far. What do you think? Nice, pretty big. Got a nice bathtub here with sort of a little shelf thing there for... Let's see, is there soap? Yes, there is. Some Institute Swiss soap. 
What's this? Is this lotion? Yeah, uh, that's a shampoo. And what is this? A shower cap. Hey, I think this is the first hotel I've been in with a shower cap. We should check that out. Let's see what it looks like. It's hard to work with one hand. I'm holding the camera with my other hand. All right, check out this shower cap. Look at that! Hey, do you ever use shower caps? I've never used a shower cap in my life. <laughs> What's the point of a shower cap? To prevent your hair from getting wet? Well, then just don't put your head under the... It's easy, right? Look, okay, if I don't want my hair to get wet... Oh, this shower is a bit different. Oh, maybe that's why they have a shower cap. Because the water shoots out like this. You know, usually you can angle the, the shower d down like that, right? And then uh, you can, that's sort of a weird, a weird shower, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's why they need a shower cap because the water comes straight out like this and you can't, you can't angle the, the shower head down. So I might have to use this shower cap if I, if I don't want to get my hair wet, but I mean, I usually wash my hair. Every time I shower, I wash my hair anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, here we got one of these things, whatever it's called, a blow dryer. How do I turn it on? There we go. Look at that. Wow. Nice. I never used, I don't know, do you use blow dryers? If you came to a hotel like this, would you actually use the blow dryer? I've never used a blow dryer before. What's this? See, everything is in French, right? French first here in Quebec, and this side is English. Okay, if you forgot to bring something, relax. We just might have what you need. What's in there? Just a garbage bin, some cups. All right, well, some towels, toilet paper, yeah, that's all I need for, what's this? A radiator, some sort of a heater. That's probably a heater or something. Anyway, well, now I'm gonna go uh, shopping, get something to eat, and then uh, I'll take you along for some lunch. We'll probably have some steak. So, let's go shopping. Hey guys, take a look at this. Milk in bags. Have you ever seen a milk in a bag before? That's crazy. You know, here in Canada, a lot of people drink milk from bags. I mean, we have cartons too, normal cartons, but um, it's just sort of funny that, you know, that's something sometimes people tell me. They say, hey, Mark, I heard, I heard in Canada you have milk in bags. Well, that's true. A lot of people here in, especially in Eastern Canada, in, in like Ontario and Quebec, I think actually most people drink milk like most of the milk that is sold is sold in bags um, but I think in Western Canada like I don't know anybody in Western Canada who drinks milk from a bag they you know they buy cartons or like usually a jug like this like a big jug like a liter I don't even see you know I don't even see gallon like you know a four liter jug of milk um, yeah I just see that the biggest one you can buy is in is in bags. So anyway, that's something interesting about Canada. 